Okay, since this was sort of requested, I'm just going to do a brief tutorial on how to um, make the gifts that I did. You uh, Sort of blending two separate gifts together and doing masking and all of that. So I'm just going to assume uh, that you know how to make gifts just like basically, right, using the timeline. But if you don't, um, you go to Windows, uh, Timeline create a frame animation and then make frame some layers and then there you have this oh crap this took out my coloring erg uh hold on a second yeah but uh i already did the coloring uh prior to this so yep here's the coloring back again uh-huh yep yeah, I'm not going to explain how to do the coloring because that's a totally separate different guide and sharpening and all that. But anyways, so you have your first GIF and your second GIF and you want to overlay them together, right? So what you do is you select all the frames and oh my god, why is this not working? Sorry about this. Uh, blank frames. This is stupid. Uh, so you select all the frames, right? And then you copy frames and you paste it onto the second GIF, right? Paste frames. Make sure when you're pasting, you paste a paste over selection. So this will actually place the GIFs from this PSD onto this PSD. And to make things easier to explain and just to work on in general, you should group the two different GIFs into separate groups. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this. These are all the layers for this GIF, right? And I'm going to do control group and make a group out of that. I'm going to do the same for the second GIF layers. So now I have two groups, so it's easier to see just logistically, right? So here I'm going to um, actually move the first, move the group on top here so I can see this one, right? Because this one's the one I'm going to be majorly working with and tailoring. So this here is what I did to make the effect of sort of uh, combining the two GIFs and layering, right? So I t changed the layer uh, type to lighten, and you sort of get this effect here, right? And then what I did is I dragged this down a little bit because I just wanted to position it better, right? So I dragged it down, dragged this layer down a bit, and then I made vector masks. So what I did is I selected all the layers of this GIF, right, and I grouped it again. Yeah, grouping is really essential for all this. And then I added a vector mask, which you can do right here, which is this white layer box thing. Right, so then you go to your gradients, and you need to make sure that this color that you select for the gradients is black, or else it won't work. Uh, and then you make sure you have this white box selected, and then you just basically drag down like this. And this creates this sort of fade effect, right? Where uh, this layer, uh, this GIF is sort of just fading out. And you can do it again for the bottom part, but you need to make another group. So select all the frames again, group it, vector mask it, and do it again. So you have this effect, right? And this is basically what I did to get the two, uh, two different GIFs to layer together. So yeah, it's, it's pretty simple. And I changed the opacity a little bit. Actually, I, I remember tweaking the opacity. So what you can do is um, just select this group, right? And then you change the opacity down. Tone it down a little bit to like 90% instead of 100. And it's lighter this way. Oh, and so if you want also if you want to learn the fade in, fade out effect I sort of had. It's it's so simple. So what you do is you just um, change the opacity on the different frames here, right? So I'm gonna take this out, right? So now these are blank and doesn't have this GIF, right? And now I'm just gonna go to my second frame, right? And make it visible again and change the opacity to something like uh, 25, right? and change this opacity to something like 50, 75, 
and keep this 90. So now there's like when you uh, play it, it'll be like a gradual, you know, fade in effect. And for the fade out, you do the same thing basically. You just uh, change the numbers around, right? So this will be 25, this will be 50, and this will be 75. So when you play it, it'll be. Yep. So that's basically a very short and brief guide on how to overlay two GIFs very simply. And if uh, I might do a coloring guide sometimes, but that's really complicated and it's really different for each type of show and how they do their base coloring when they're filming. But anyways, yeah, hope this helped. Thanks.